happy and very excited to be here and walk everyone through the uh, Dow Reward Systems Research Initiative that we've been running for the last five weeks. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I, the agenda for today, uh, gonna just talk a little bit about our organizers and participants to give you guys an idea of who is involved, um, then discuss the research initiative goals and objectives, um, go into the program structure overview, and also talk a bit about the progress to date. Um, we've been at it for, I think, five weeks now, four or five weeks. Um, so we've got some exciting outcomes. Uh, cool. So yeah, organizers, part partners, and participants. Um, the TE Academy is facilitating and hosting um, the research program. And uh, the TE Academy is in a super exciting place, really a vibrant community, um, a lot going on in Discord, always great discussion. Um, Angela gave a bit of an intro earlier, so I won't go too deep into that. But as you can see, we have some fun on Zoom calls. Um, also want to give a special shout out to the mentors and support team. Um, there's a lot of organizing and planning that goes into program structure, program content, making sure that the learning experience is, is good for the participants. Um, and we've got a great team from really around, across the token engineering ecosystem um, and the Governance uh, group as well. Uh, so <clears throat> Andrew, Patty, myself, uh, Sean, Livia, uh, Angela, and Mike. Um, I think you'll hear from pretty much everyone uh, in this group here today. So um, yeah, shout out to all of the, the mentors. Uh, and then obviously we have to thank our partners um, and give them a shout out because without them, we would not have a research program. Um, so the Governance crew who we've just heard a lot about from James and Renzo, um, also the Token Engineering Commons, Ocean and Near, who are the case partners, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute, um, and Boson and Gnosis for also supporting this initiative too. Um, Great group of partners. So finally, the most important uh, focus area of the research programs, obviously the participants, because they're doing all the hard work. Um, and I just wanted to call out a few, uh, can't, can't go by name because there's too many of them actually, but um, wanted to call out a few interesting statistics about our, our uh, group of researchers here. Um, and I uh, just mentioned that we do we did pull together a group from around the globe. Uh, so as you can see, we're pretty spread on time zones, which makes it tough sometimes to join in for meetings, but also exciting because it means we have a really diverse group uh, and get a lot of really awesome perspectives. And it's pretty cool that we can bring together people from all around the world. Um, and I don't know, here we have about 16 or 14 time zones or something. Um, Angela was mentioning earlier that the TE Academy has had participants from 21 time zones. So this is pretty normal for us, which is cool. Um, and also on the educational background, uh, we have a really even split of natural sciences and social sciences. So this has also been exciting because it's a, a good opportunity for teams to collaborate um, and then participants to collaborate. And, you know, if they aren't the data science experts, they should have someone in their team to help support them. Um, so it creates a really awesome dynamic of um, support and problem solving within the group. Um, also a cool fact is that not everyone in this research program has DAO experience. Uh, so some people are really here for the first time um, and it's pretty exciting to be able to introduce them and also get their perspectives from whatever world they came from previously um, on DAO reward systems. And finally, uh, this is a token engineering um, group too. Many people come from the token engineering community, but it's also really cool that we are able to uh, introduce some people to token engineering. Um, so about a little over a quarter of the group uh, has actually not um, done much with token engineering, maybe are new to the subject altogether. So uh, it's cool to be the, the funnel for new folks into the space too. Um, now to talk a little bit about research program goals and objectives in general. Um, so from the TE Academy's perspective, uh, our main goal or reason for running these research programs is to bring together multidisciplinary groups to solve problems. Um, I, I only split between natural and social sciences in the last slide, but in reality, there's many, many different fields and, and backgrounds and expertise. Uh, represented in the um, in the group. And we have been running these programs for 
um, I guess over a year now um, with uh, a handful of um, partners. And every time it's just crazy outcomes uh, when you bring together groups of people with different backgrounds. So there's always this spark of innovation um, when, yeah, you get this diverse group, which is really exciting, but also it can be a big challenge. Um, so bringing together people from backgrounds makes communication really difficult, which I'm sure everyone in this call has experienced at some point. Uh, there's different mental models and domain jargons, definition for terms, um, all that stuff makes it harder to communicate. And so we really try and uh, promote the idea that communication is a superpower. It's really hard to be good at communication. So asking questions and commenting uh, is always encouraged um, and using the lens of your discipline. We don't want you to leave behind everything you've learned to enter this new space. Um, it's actually better for everyone if you try and uh, help people understand your perspectives. Um, and yeah. And of course, uh, this is an open science initiative. So we do this in the open. Um, there's a Discord channel where all the action's going down. Uh, you can check it out. Um, and the session content and et cetera is, is public too. And we think that is really exciting because it leaves an opportunity for the public to, to kind of check out the, the research and spy on it a little bit. That's how I actually got introduced to the space was I was lurking in uh, the Gitcoin research group that we did, that the TE Academy did um, in the beginning of 20, beginning of this year, I believe. Um, and yeah, it was just lurking around in the back because it was open science and I thought this was really cool. And now I'm on the other side actually. So um, yeah, feel free to do the same. <laughs> Now to get uh, a bit of a program overview, to give you an idea of what these research programs actually look like and how they work. Um, so this is a timeline for this program. We have three parts. Um, the first part started in November, on November 16th, and we meet twice a week as is highlighted on the calendars. Um, so we've had eight sessions, nine sessions, no, eight sessions so far um, as of yesterday. And today we are obviously on December 10th, um, which is part two of the program, the reward system assemblage. And uh, this today is really meant to, part, part two is really meant to um, encourage, spark innovation and, and uh, bring new ideas into the group, um, which is always exciting. Um, and yes, as of part one was focused on analysis and measurement. Uh, and part three will be focused more on new mechanisms and innovation. Um, so what can we, uh, tweak about reward systems and, and discover new mechanisms. Let's see, how am I doing on time? I think I'm okay. Um, and yes, yeah, so more on program structure. So we have four case examples that we are leading these um, teams through or have assigned to these teams. Um, and the four case examples are split by different reward mechanisms. Um, so first would be Ocean Dow. Uh, and Ocean Dow grants are. Um, yeah, proposals submitted to the Ocean DAO voted by Ocean holders. And our data set for this um, case includes things like project name, proposal outcome, voting activity, et cetera. Um, we have two cases actually that are linked to the NEAR community. So first is Sputnik DAO, um, which is another grants mechanism. The second is the TIP bot, NEAR TIP bot, um, which is uh, an interesting peer-to-peer -peer tipping um, through Telegram chats uh, in the NEAR ecosystem. And then finally, the fourth case is the TE Commons praise system. Uh, and this is also a peer-to-peer -peer, um, recognition for contributing towards the TEC. Um, so many interesting data sets. Uh, and actually, Angela, how, how is time? Oh, good. Five minutes. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, so to go a little bit deeper on part one, this is where we've been focusing the last few weeks. Um, and we've been working with the participants and all the teams through this data analysis process. Uh, so we started with a, an introduction to reward system context. Um, so that's learning everything about the system, the reward system and the ecosystem. So that'd be Ocean, Near, and the TEC, uh, which is quite a learning curve if you've never been introduced to those ecosystems before. Um, then we also did some brainstorming around system health. So what does it mean to have a healthy system um, in short-term, long-term, at the individual level, at the ecosystem level. So lots of cool ideas there. Uh, then finally, we've been doing data analysis and trying to come to conclusions um, 
based on the uh, data that we have available from the reward systems. So the overall objective has been investigating system healthiness by analyzing raw data from reward systems. Um, and the sessions that we have uh, include lots of breakout rooms, um, brainstorming sessions on Miro, uh, also homework exercises um, as well. So part two, uh, I guess we already mentioned, um, although we did not mention, uh, we had two workshops yesterday as well. So the reward systems crew has been, um, has had a lot of reward system action in the last two days. Um, but yesterday we also had these two exciting workshops um, on reward system design from Matt Slots and Matthew Slater, um, and also a presentation from Dr. Michael Zargum on reward systems as a process. So plenty there to spark some innovative ideas for part three, which is focused on new mechanisms, modeling and validation. Um, so this is, uh, where we get to apply some token engineering principles um, and hopefully create new uh, rewards mechanisms. And of course, uh, this isn't all fun and games. There is a very serious POAP uh, available for all participants who successfully complete um, the program. And these POAPs represent uh, your successful participation in a, TE alum, in a TE Academy program and make you a TE Academy alumni. So there's lots of TE Academy alumni in this call today actually. So shout out to everyone who's completed a program with us. And then finally, I'll just touch on some progress to date. Um, so as I've mentioned, we've had a lot of sessions and workshops so far, total of 29 hours of programming, which is quite a lot. And that's not even mentioning the time outside of the calls um, where teams have been meeting on their own to work and, and do their own analysis. Um, so we've had eight sessions, two workshops, and this program today. Uh, yes, and special shout out to our Zoom call full of the research participants um, who are yeah in the Zoom on the side together. Uh, so thanks for joining. Um, and we've also been analyzing questions uh, to give you an idea of uh, sim something like how effective are grant distributions at returning value to the ecosystem? Are correlated voting patterns a signal of inefficient voting mechanisms? Is any whale behavior present in the praise system? Um, so things like this are what the teams are digging into. And as you can see, we've got some colorful charts, which are too small to read, but uh, those are from the praise data set and lots of mirror boarding going on too. So. Um, lots more exciting updates to come. The program has only been running for five weeks. There's eight more uh, starting in January, um, but we can uh, already provide you links to join us for the final presentations of part one that will happen next week. Um, and also final part presentations in February, if you like to really plan ahead um, from part three. And also great ways to stay involved would be following Token Engineering on Twitter, the Governance Twitter, uh, and also checking out our website, tokenengineering.org. Um, so yeah, that's actually all I have uh, for the program update. Um, yeah. 